See, if if Dan Hang in BB2 Lune was like this, I would have pulled for her. Subscribe, please! Okay, so we just had a new Water and Wave version 1.1 trailer, Thaw of Eons, drop. I mean, that's just, just, that was 13 hours ago. I want to try, I want to see if I can ignite a spark of hope for Shincho. I assume this is uh, Shinchi talking. All right, let's open this up. Let's have a look this. Man, she's so pretty. She's so pretty. Look at her. Look at her feet. Feet! Fuck! I can feel the sentinel's presence inside. Are you? But it's not responding. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, sorry, what was that? Is that supposed to be Joey? Who is that person? But it's not responding. Ooh. Man, this place is so pretty. Yay, snowboarding time. Burb. Oh, did you see? That's a new monster on the right. Is that a glacier wolf? I think it is. This place is so pretty. I love it so much. Oh my god. Is that the white crow? Wow. Is everybody just frozen in place? What is going on there? Yep. Man, everybody is. Holy crap. I love the aesthetic so much. Hey, that Chongli! I recognize the uh, umbrella. I'm funny! God damn, she goes so hard, dude. Like, that tattoo being under the boobs is outrageous. <laughs> Sheesh! Allow me to demonstrate the proper etiquette. Oh my god. Oh my god. <clears throat> I shall channel my inner Mina Oyama that I that I respect and love. Okay, moving on. Oh my god, the 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 the, the floor is a a go. Oh Jesus Christ, it's so good. Shall we proceed? Mm, yes, please. <gasps> Some people must be itching to bounce. Lady, you can't say that. Jesus. Ah! Look, it's my girlfriend. Shine forevermore. Looms. Oh, the horns. Ah, she's so cool. See, if if Dan Hang in BB2 Lune was like this, I would have pulled for her. But we have to have a nerdy guy with just who's always moody. That's so much my head. Oh wait, was that baby her? Was that baby her? Was that baby Shang Li? Come back. Fateful clash between the sentinel and myself that would shape the fate of Ah, it's baby Shagli. She's so cute. <laughs> oh, look at her. She's so adorable. Oh, I want to head pat her so much. Look at her. What a kitty pie. This game is almost over. What? But it's only 1.1. Restore the time. Yes, please. It's not easy to become a candle of light. Man, I need to tattoo these on my back. I'm not even kidding. I need this tattooed on my back. I'm saving this somewhere. I'm gonna get that tattooed, honestly. This might be my first tattoo ever. I don't want to try. I want to see if I can ignite 
light a spark of hope for Jinjo. Damn, that was so cool. We got the snowboard. We got the clang bang new echo that you can use for puzzle for breaking walls. We got the photon vault that you can break photon barrier by shooting them. Uh, pressure platform, stone lift, light emitter, light gatherer. Uh, the leap device that's uh, for very good traversal, obviously. The chrono sorter can just bring back uh, stuff that was broken in the past. Oh, what was that? What was that? What was that? Wait, what was that? What was that? What was that? Am I being trolled right now? Yes, please. I want to see the effect of Joey. Come on! She's worth keeping over Jinchi. Jinchi is actually going to be the first banner. There it is. One of the sentinels of Huang Long taking the shape of a Long. The guiding force behind Jinjo civilization, a majestic deity with unquestionable power, omniscient of Jinjo's past, present, and future. Jue, the wielder of time's flows, sees aeons as mere moments. In an instant, Jue can change the universe forever. Season chief by decree, it all being abide by their laws. Such is the nature of the universe. Echo skill, summon Jue to attack the enemies dealing spectral damage. You can perform resonance skill to deal sustained spectral damage to the enemies over time. So if you summon Jui and then you press with some skill, is that what it does? Or is that like how you hold it maybe? Instead of tapping? The Lumiscale Construct. Lumiscale Constructs are composed of Jui's defensive modules, commonly known as Lung Scales. They're found throughout the court of Savantai ruins in Mount Firmament, just with eliminating intruders and potential threat to Jui. So this one is a three cost. I thought it was going to be a one cost, actually. So transform into a Lumi skill construct and enters a parry stance. When attack, perform a counter attack. If you parry a special skill attack, interrupts it and deal extra damage. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, that's a big sword. Damn. Light Crusher. A three cost. An enormous feline mimic TD. Only sighted in Mount Firmament in one long. According to Hong Zhen Chronicle, it is a solitary TD with four claws and a scaly back. It is called Light Crusher because of the glowing tracks left in its wake. Damn. Lunge forward as a Light Crusher dealing spectral damage. Hold the Echo skill to lunge for a longer distance after gathering momentum in the Light Crusher form. Ooh, I hope this is gonna give us a lot of traversal options. Because like, I mean, having the motorcycle is kinda nice, but it's not really a real mount. So I kinda hope we have like more options for that kind of stuff. I really hope we get a proper mount in the future. Hey Rinku, alright, oh, let's see. Looking good, looking good. Oh, it is massive. That is pretty cool. Uh, it's not that long, though. The Glacier Dream Main. A wolf mimic TD rampant in the snowland gifted in stealth. Glacier Dream Mains utilize teamwork and mimic cry as a weapon against powerful opponent. Transforming to a Glacier Dream Main to deal consecutive attack can be cast in midair. Ooh. So cute! Oh, damn, get him! The Lava Larva. Okay, one cost, as I predicted. A Lava Mimic TD mainly inhabiting areas beneath the Tundra, near geothermal heat sources. By absorbing geothermal energy, it can produce lava through a special organ to melt the frozen soil and dig tunnels extending in all directions. Lava Larva choices often lead to locations rich in geothermal energy. Summon the Lava Larva that continuously attack enemies, dealing fusion damage. Okay. Oh, this one is a summon. You don't transform into it. That's pretty cool. The Clang Bang. Immature humanoid TD. Small amount of ice crystals are left on its body. It uses them to imitate the creased sound of Clang Bang of ice colliding. Uh, summon a Clang Bang that follows the enemies and eventually self-combust, dealing glacial damage. Okay. They're so cute! <laughs> They're so adorable. That's very adorable. I, I like that a lot. And the Dwarf Cassowary costs one. An endemic rat ratite mimic TD inhabiting Mount Firmament. Being flightless and non-hardy, 
can only survive in areas below the mountain ridge. Its name has two etymological origins within the Huanglong language family. One stems from a description from the Hongzhen Chronicle. This ratite mimic TD is plump and seemingly lack of intelligence. The other is originated from the local dialect. Local use the word to describe creatures that look dumb. Bad. Dodo's taking strays for real. Summon a dwarf cassowary to attack, dealing physical damage. Bruh. I mean, they, they do look a little bit dumb, not gonna lie. <laughs> They're so cute though! They were, oh, need rolls? <laughs> oh, new weapon! Look at them! Ages of Harvest, a blazing brilliance. They look so pretty, man. Ugh, but I can't get them all. I can't get them all. Life is hard. Life is so hard. I want them all! Uh, Mount Fermament area events. Uh, yeah, that this is to unlock the area or do all the tough. According to Uncle Fu, he claims to possess treasure resembling a scale capable of performing chrono tracing, the ability to replicate passive and cross time and space. This is the photo event thingy. Uh, we get the update to the Elusive Realm. We get the uh, Tactical Simulacra, which is a, a combat challenge. Uh, limited time commission events, looking good. Uh, the seven days login, which will give us five pulls on the permanent banner and five pulls on the Rater banner. That's good. And here we get special check-in events. We get ten pull on the permanent, rate up, and weapon banner. All of them. That's absolutely amazing. Thirty pull. So that's forty pull essentially with the login and this reward. That's forty pull just from playing the game. Insane. Insane! That's amazing. This looks so great. I can't wait to learn more of the story. I can't wait to learn more about the little creature we found. Uh, the area looks beautiful. The character looks amazing. Uh, the boss fight is going to be Pug. The new echoes are very interesting. I'm looking forward to more of the, the, the open world mechanics, puzzles, all the good stuff. And uh, yeah, looks absolutely great. Do let me know in the comments what you guys think, what you're most excited about, what you're going to be pulling for. And uh, like, subscribe, join me on Twitch, Discord, all the good good. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye!